Hello class. Today we will be talking about magnets. Just going to introduce you to them with a few basic facts and principles. First we'll be talking just the definition of a magnet. A magnet is a item that contains nickel, cobalt, and iron. It has all of its domains pointing in the same direction. Domains just mean an area of a magnet that is uniform in its magnetization. So to see that below, I included a picture of non-magnetized object. It would have the domains jumbled, like here. This is all jumbled and random. Down here, they're all arranged nicely in lines. This would be a magnetized object. Next. We see what magnets do. They essentially repel and attract objects of iron, nickel, and cobalt. If an object does not contain any of these elements, they will not react to the magnet. What you need to always know about magnets is that there is a north and south pole. North poles will always attract other south poles. This is just essentially the golden rule of opposites attract. So if you put two poles together that are the same, like a north pole and another north pole, they will repel. Uh, repelling just means that they will not come together by themselves. You would have to force them together. There are different types of magnets. There are temporary and permanent. Permanent magnets are objects that have their own magnetic field. These would be bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, and everyday magnets like refrigerator magnets. Temporary magnets are created with permanent magnets. So if you were to create a temporary magnet out of a, let's say, a screwdriver, you would touch the tip of the screwdriver with a permanent magnet and this would create a magnet out of the screwdriver. When you touch a permanent magnet to an object that's domains are random, they will then become aligned. So now you could use the screwdriver to pick up objects that contain iron, nickel, or cobalt, like paper clips and nails, for example. Essentially, there are permanent magnets, but they can lose their power and become temporary. This can be done by heat. If you heat it up, it becomes jumbled and the domains are no longer aligned. Force, you can hit hit it with a any object, a hammer for example, will cause it to lose magnetism. Friction, just rubbing two magnets together can cause the same thing, the domains to become unaligned. Just simple touching of two magnets together can cause demagnetization as well. There are also just here some examples of magnets. We have bar magnets with the north pole on the top and the south on the bottom. Horseshoe magnets, same thing, the depicted north and south poles. A ring magnet is just a little different. The north pole is usually on the top, or the, I'm sorry, the outside of the magnet. The south pole is more in the center. And what I want the class to do is to bring in 10 items from your home. They can be anything like string, rubber bands, paper clips, etc. We'll be using these items in our in-class activity, our lab. If you are confused on what to bring, please ask your parents. They will help you pick out some items. Please make sure they are small. And here are just some resources where I got the information. Thank you.